up machine freaks and welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm excited to say that we're gonna see Ian. Ian's a good quality pal. He needs my help today. He's actually rebuilding a snowmobile engine and he asked me if I could help and I said absolutely Ian, I'll give you a hand. So I got up extra early so I could do my video this morning. Now I'm heading directly up to Ian's shop. I'm not quite sure what exactly we are rebuilding. He told me to give him an hour warning so he could go over there and like get the stove ready so that's really considerate of him. And I really appreciate that. You know, you always want to take care of your help, no matter what. If you need any kind of help, make it as easy as possible for that person. They deserve it because they're giving you their time. And time, in my opinion, is the most important thing we have. Oh, that's nice. Yeah? Yeah, it is. So I accidentally uh, forgot my jacket outside and it froze, so it's like frozen like salad. Ian's shop isn't hooked directly up to electricity, so we have a generator going, and then we have a wood stove heating the shop. So that's why it's gonna be a little bit noisy at times. But what we're going to do is try to rebuild this thing. Uh, we, have, we have a new timing chain, so we gotta time it. So this whole camshaft assembly is like, you know, not bolted down or anything. It's a complicated situation. Yeah. Yeah, what we're doing is just basically making this so that it's going to work again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ian and I, Ian and I are going to lunch. We're gonna stop by my house, get some coupons. We're, we're smart shoppers. And we also wanna check with a professional mechanic because I, first of all, I didn't even tear this engine apart. Ian and Kyle D did that. And then I just kind of got uh, roped into helping Ian. Not a problem, it's just, I'm just more confused than if I were to help them take it apart. The, the biggest concern I have is making sure that it's timed right. I, I don't want to put this thing together and then have to take it back apart. It just wouldn't make any sense. Plus, because snowmobiles are only like a northern thing and only a few states run snowmobiles in like Canada, not a lot of people have them. So when you go on the internet and do some research, you don't find anything compared to if you were to search a vehicle. I got the coupons. We made it back to Ian's shop. Now he's got to fire up the generator. Fire up, Ian. Okay. Ian and I are making substantial progress. We don't have a screwdriver though that's uh, small enough for this one, for the uh, timing chain tensioner, which is in this cloth right here. An engine's like a clock, and you have certain components that have to be timed right, otherwise the clock doesn't work. I'm learning more about clocks right now than I am about engines. And you have a chain that connects all these pieces that have to be timed. And if your chain isn't tight, then not only can it, uh, rattle around, but it can also jump teeth, which will take stuff out of time. Please excuse the generator noise. We did end up getting it timed, and we have the valve cover on. Ian's going to Kyle D's to go pick up his last piece. I'm not sure exactly how far we're going to get today, but what I do know is it's fun hanging out with Ian, and it's fun rebuilding this engine. My camera's just finding it a little difficult because it's, it was cold in here when we went to lunch and came back. My camera was so cold in here that my touch screen wouldn't even work. So I actually had to put it in the furnace. Well, in this cover thing, how this works is Ian has a fan blowing up and it comes up here and it blows out through here. And I ended up actually having to put my camera in there so that it would warm up the screen so that I can actually touch it and so that it could actually function and get the shots that I wanted to get. Now, Ian likes to have somebody else with him when he does stuff like this 
Me, on the other hand, I kind of like to do it myself. What about you guys? Do you guys like to have a helping hand or do you like to do it strictly by yourself? I know everybody's different. Please leave your opinion in the comment section below. Well, I'm glad this snowmobile isn't mine. I don't say that. I mean, look at it. Come on, there's no engine in it. It's a good sled. She's a good sled. And it runs, it's a good, great sled. Beautiful. The plan is, is we're gonna get this oil pan on, and then we're gonna call it quits for the night. We're actually gonna go out to where I ordered a part a long time ago, pick that up, and then Ian's gonna get some oil as well. So we have to run a couple of errands after this. We ended up racking up about five and a half hours doing this. And no, Ian and I aren't professional mechanics, and I'm well aware that people could do this in half the time. But the thing is, is we went out to lunch, we ran a couple errands, we had to pick up a few tools, we had to, you know, interact with you guys. The tool situation isn't the most organized as well. It is what it is. But I mean, this thing, this thing is awesome. That's the coolest tool ever. I use quite a bit of my gloves, but you guys know that I usually do. Yeah, I got a few in there. But it's all so that I can capture it, share it with you guys, and then when I'm like 80 years old and I can barely talk, I'll be able to look at the videos. It's all worth it, right Ian? Yeah. Take the wheel. Take the wheel? Come on, you gotta keep it on the road there, John Smoke. <laughs> That's right. You're doing a wardrobe change. <laughs> you're doing a good job. Yeah, but right? you're touching the wheel. I can't help it. I gotta do what I gotta do. That wasn't that bad, was it? I like how you're saying you gotta keep it on the road because what I was doing is I naturally look at the camera. So I'm like looking at the camera. So it was perfect that you like paid attention at first because otherwise we probably would have went in the ditch. <laughs> I'm like looking at my camera I'm like, oh, okay, I ain't got into the wheel for you. <laughs> but Ian and I closed up the shop. We're going to get the oil and uh, my part, like I told you guys. Best thing about this entire experience is hanging out with the inn and hanging out with, uh, you know, hanging out with friends and getting stuff accomplished. I love, I love getting stuff accomplished and I like, you know, surrounding myself with the people I like while I do that. The, the least favorite. Extra steps. Extra steps? Doing it over again. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ian tore this thing apart, but he didn't tear it apart like yesterday or the day before that. He's, it's been like a week and a half. Two months. Two months. Okay, so see you guys when you take something apart and then you, you know you got life going on You got to go to work and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to exactly put the jigsaw puzzle back together the correct way the first time So, you know, sometimes you put on uh, a component uh, out of the out of order But you don't like get it all the way down and torque it all the way down you find you realize it before you do every step but uh, Yeah, just little stuff like that adds up, but it, it's it's definitely a good time. We made it. We took the back roads. It, it was like really quick. I've never been that way. Luckily, Ian knows, you know, his way around the country. I'm here to pick up a part. Thank you very much. You too. Ian says that this is the, the last couple things he's ever gonna buy for a sled right here. Got a Hershey bar. <laughs> Throw that in there for yeah. some extra additive. That's right. Extra power. He's all set, man. He's got his first oil change and then his second oil change. He's gonna make sure to clean all that crap out. Let it run for a little bit and then completely change out the oil and the oil filter so that it can start up all new and fresh. Froggy fresh, such as myself. And Ian, he's pretty fresh. 
Sometimes. Oh, hey, can I have a bite of your Hershey bar since you're not gonna give it to your snowmobile? <laughs> Just one. No, I don't want three, I want one. Okay. Gotta watch my figure. Jesus. <laughs> Ian's going freaking crazy. So is this car. Get some! I guess the candy bar wasn't enough. We'll see what he comes back with. Hopefully I can get a little snack. That's what friends do. They share. Sharing is caring, right? Unless you're the one with the food. And then it's like, no. What is this? It's chocolate milk. Chocolate milk, huh? Oh, this dry clutch feels weird. Yeah? It's like delayed. See, his car is is different than most vehicles. Everybody... Come on, you're supposed to be driving. I am. I'm talking to my friends too. I'm gonna We're go good. for it even if I'm like We're good. gonna die over on my side. We're good. We're good. Go. We're good. So like most vehicles, they have wet clutches in the transmission. Ian's has a dry clutch, so there's like a delay. But it's still an automatic. But it's still an automatic, yeah. It's just dry clutches are usually used in standard vehicles or manual transmission vehicles. We made it back to Ian's and it's already dark. But at least the days are getting longer. They have been getting longer for quite a while now. And I'm appreciating that. Does anybody know like specifically how much time we get each day? I think it's somewhere around a minute. If you know it and you want to share your knowledge, leave it in the comment section below. We can all learn! But it's time to crank up the old D-Max. We're just gonna lock up the shop, lock up the gate. I'm gonna go home, take care of you guys, you know, do my video real quick, and then I'm actually gonna meet Ian back up at his house. We're gonna have a card night. Now we're not gonna play like Pinnacle or like Hearts or anything like that, we're gonna play Uno. <laughs> Thank you. 